Patriot Front got pulled over. They were all piled in the U-Haul and they are all detained. What? <laughs> As that woman was narrating there, up in Idaho, there was a truckload full of white supremacists. Bigots, if you would, members of the white supremacist terror group Patriot Front. They were looking to start some trouble there as it was a pride event nearby. And police were tipped off by one, as they mentioned, one very concerned citizen. And that led them to this pullover and arrest. There's more details of what they were planning, what they had and what they were about to do. But let's see more of this arrest as they're all kneeling there and some are being searched and being exposed. Let's watch. Just had to make sure those cowards there, uh, once the police unmasked them with their uh, masks on, <clears throat> they finally got a chance to be exposed and seen for who they really are. Some more details here, because 31 people that are affiliated with this white nationalist group uh, were arrested near an annual LGBTQ plus event Saturday in Coeur d'Alene, de Aline, Idaho, that's what police said. Uh, so the police chief also had more about this, what they had on them. This is where we got the details of what they were really trying to do. Let's watch this. 31 people were detained. Uh, they were all wearing similar attire. attire. They had shields, shin guards, um, and other riot gear with them, including a, at least one smoke grenade. Those 31 individuals have been arrested for conspiracy to riot. At this point, they appear to be affiliated with the group Patriot Front. These individuals come from all over. We're still in the booking process. We've not completed booking of all 31 individuals. But at this point, we have individuals from Texas, Utah, Idaho, Colorado, South Dakota, Illinois, Arkansas, Wyoming, Washington, Oregon, and Virginia. I want to say, for me personally, I don't think this would have been as successful had we not had one extremely astute citizen who saw something that was very concerning to them and reported it to us. And that's how it all went down. They had all these details on this a little bit more here because White, also that police chief said, that they were made aware in recent days that a number of groups planned to disrupt pride in the park, an annual event highlighting the civil rights struggles of LGBTQ plus communities. Staffing was increased and awareness was heightened. By the time dispatchers fielded a report of 20 people in a U-Haul vehicle Saturday afternoon. One smoke grenade was found among the suspect's belongings. Presumed suspects were spotted loading the U-Haul earlier in the day at a local hotel. We can run this gif of them exposing them at any point, you guys. But I wanna get your thoughts on this, Jessica. Yeah, I think initially when you see that guy against the car and the, the mask getting taken off, it's very Scooby Doo. It's very like, <laughs> who's under true. the mask? Oh my God, <laughs> it's a fascist. Um, but yeah, the Patriot Front is, is a white supremacist neo-fascist group. And they truly trucked people in like a military operation, right? There's 31 or so of these guys that got trucked in. They had an operations plan. I mean, they're very clearly going there to, to riot. One person calls law law enforcement. But we've talked a lot recently on the Young Turks, especially and just like generally there are conversations about the duty to protect, right? Do police officers have a responsibility to prevent crimes before they happen or simply enforce the law after they do happen? And you know, law and justice are not the same, regardless of if, 
if we look to the record of how Supreme Court cases have upheld this, that police officers do not have the duty to protect, you know, regardless of whether or not you look at the law, should they? And if they didn't, if they didn't step in and proactively detain these people, people celebrating pride in the park would have been attacked. And so our, our basic freedoms really depend on the duty to protect. It, it depends on people being proactive and doing something about the rise of fascism in the United States. And again, you're seeing how these continue to happen when these things do get busted up, which actually uh, gotta give props because even that militia group out in Michigan that was looking to attack and kidnap and murder the governor, I think it was last year, maybe it was in 2020, uh, that was busted up and broken up. So even though many of our politicians, specifically on conservative uh, circles and pundits, like to downplay the white terror that's happening in our country and how it's the leading terrorist group, homegrown domestic terrorism group, at least authorities, it seems, are taking it seriously enough to when they do get tips, when they see something like this, it goes down. Now, one reason many people may not believe that is because they watch a lot of Fox News. Let's look at this because Fox and Friends on the weekend also spoke about this, but they had a little bit of a different beef with a different group. Watch. One man's hat said victory or death, another's shirt read reclaim America. Many of the men reportedly wore patches identifying them with the Patriot Front Group. The Daily Mail also reporting police recovered at least one smoke grenade and an operations plan for the event inside that truck. Okay, thank you, Ashley. I just wanna know how many BLM riots were prevented because we got in on the inside mm. before they rioted, burned down cities. Very interesting. Never ahead of that curve. Never, mm. never. Pete Hedseth is very upset that a terror group got busted up and he decides to talk about BLM rights um, and how people were protesting police officers indiscriminately killing certain groups of people unlawfully. He has an issue with that, but he doesn't have an issue with this terror group. Your last thoughts? Yeah, I mean, this is people celebrating pride in the park, right? They're, the thing that they did to have people want to ride against them is just being gay in public. What BLM <laughs> protesters were sometimes riding for, sometimes peacefully protesting for was cops comprehensively, overwhelmingly shooting unarmed black people across the country. Those two things are very different. In one, it's very clear a social contract has been broken and people don't feel safe in society. That's a reason to protest. People being gay in public isn't a reason for violence or protest. Yeah, well, see the upside down nature of the way that people discuss and disagree in the country. Somehow they can equate these things only because they listen to people like Pete Hegseth somehow endorse terrorism.